My name is Fatima, I'm from Belgium, so English is not my first language. So I do my best. There's a lot of love and compassion out there. We got a lot of room. We got room. Thank you. Um, in 2015, I have been diagnosed endometriosis. Um, so this disease, um, so the, the meaning is that there are some cells from the uterus who comes to the body from so organ that create some inflammation that makes, that was very painful, very deep, very strong, so that each month during my period and between the periods, I have some pain um, compared to a woman that is in process of giving birth. And uh, I saw um, a gynecologist who, who confirmed the diagnosis and he did an abdominal scan and I have two ovarian kiss, fibroma, so fibroma is like a mild tumor and also adherence. And, um, but he said you have only two options. The one will be to take contraceptive pills and the other one will be to remove my uterus, so do like a hysterectomy. So I saw another gynecologist to be sure that there will be maybe another option. So she confirmed that I only have the choice to remove my uterus or to take some contraceptive pills. So I, I yes, I, I want to like, the, it was so painful that I did the contraceptive pills. And in 2017, I went in a, a progressive workshop in Amsterdam of Dr. Judy Spenza. And I just realized that um, I was responsible of this disease that I created by myself. And if I create it by myself, then I can also make it disappear. So. Um, and I, I don't know how it happened, but I forgot to take these contraceptive pills for five weeks. <laughs> Too busy being somebody else. <laughs> so I saw uh, this gynecologist and she said, I can't help you if you don't take the, these contraceptive pills. Just, I can't help you. So as long as you don't take it, I don't want to see you. So, but I saw another gynecologist who was a very, very wonderful, and she still is wonderful and human woman. And the first time that I saw her, she, uh, we stayed like for an hour, and I explained what happened, and, and I also explained that I've been to the workshop, um, the progressive workshop, and she didn't know about Dr. Joe Dispenza. And she said, no, this is your body, so you know exactly what you have to do, and I'm going to support you on that process. And, um, but I still have, I still had this ovarian kiss and fibroma, so she said that we have to consider the surgery. And I said, let's see what happened, I want to do this meditation. And um, so I saw her six months later. And wait a second, wait a second. Don't skip the important part here. <laughs> what did you do for those six months? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> A, did you watch TV every night? <laughs> B, did you walk around complaining and creating the identity of your disease? C, did you decide to cross the river of change and do the work? Yes, yeah, so I did um, meditation on a daily basis, especially the blessing of, uh, of the energy center. She and was putting life in her nest. So that six months later, I saw uh, this gynecologist and she was a little bit surprised because one of the ovarian kiss completely disappeared. And, but there's still the other one. But, uh, so she said, we have to consider the surgery. <laughs> and I said to her, let's see what happened in six months. <laughs> now, the beauty behind this is that, number one, you would have to agree with me that she has a plan in her mind. She has a thought like, wow, this condition somehow was created 
so maybe I can participate in changing that. That's a healthy thought, yes? And then she says, well, gosh, if I start with the most radical choice, I'm going to eliminate a lot of other choices. So let's be practical. Let's see if I do the work, I understand that I can downregulate genes and I can make changes, and I can bless my energy centers, and I can create more order in my autonomic nervous system. Let's do an experiment. In six months, I'll do the work and I'll be committed. And if at the end of six months, if it improves, then I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing because it's feedback to let me know that I'm doing the right thing. Come on. She's not in denial. She's not hiding from it. She's being very practical and very clear. And if it doesn't improve or it's getting worse, then you've got to change the game again and you've got to make a little bit more of a radical choice. But you have more choices if you start the most conservative. How many people understand? So she didn't rush to that most radical choice. She was a participant in taking responsibility for her health. Continue, please. Okay, so I've, um, I went to the advanced workshop in Sardinia, and I did the coherence healing. Ah, listen closely. She was a subject. She was a healy during the coherence healing. Yeah. So she surrendered her body to a group of six or eight people in the cage. Exactly. And two months after, I saw my gynecologist, and she was so shocked by the results because I didn't have any more, any ovarian kiss, any fibroma, any adherence. But there's one thing that I forgot to say, is that I didn't say to my family that I have the disease because I didn't want to identify me as a, a woman that has endometriosis. And I said, no, I'm just a woman, that's it. You know, so I, I want to prepare that. So they didn't, know, they didn't know yet that I did had... What disease? Yes. <laughs> and you would say then that by doing that, she was holding the power of what she was doing. She was keeping it. She wasn't leaking any of it out. She was, it was her thing, and she wanted to keep it close to her and do the work and not be treated by people around her with a certain way that would remind her of her condition. I think it's a, a bold move, but also very empowering. Yes or no? Now, as a teaching tool here, the pattern of the endometriosis exists right here. Yes or no? Just like the leaf, you cut the leaf off and there's a light field, a pattern. And that pattern is in the frequency of light. Are you with me? And the cysts, the fibroids, all of that, it's a pattern here. The field, zero point energy, source energy, here's the pattern. It's like a slide in a projector. The slide then projects an image into matter. Are you with me still? And we think that we have to change this. Cut this out. You know, electrocute the heart. Do the surgeries. Do all this. Take it out, but the pattern is still in the field. Are you with me still? So all of the, all the efforts, a lot of time that's made matter to matter, you see the condition restored because the pattern is still in the field. How many people are with me? So she has a dramatic improvement by doing her own work and changing her own energy by blessing those energy centers. And she just needs a bump. She's already willing. She's already committed. The vine is already close to her. She's made contact with it. She gets in a group of eight people. They create a coherent pattern of eight people, 16 hands, producing concentric circles that begin to interfere and create a very complex pattern. Remember, it doesn't look like this. As it gets more and more closer to the zero point field, it gets more and more complex. 
So now they create a very complex fractal pattern here. And it's so orderly that it literally takes the pattern here and reorganizes it into a new pattern. And when you change it in the field, you put a new slide in, you change it in matter. How many people understand? <laughs> That's all that happened. In the head sensor? I want you to. Yes, so um, the Janakazis was shocked by the result, but I wasn't surprised. And I say, I know that it already happened, you know. <laughs> and um, I want to thank Anouk because yesterday she told me that uh, I'll be invited to tell the story on the, on the stage. And I say, I, I'm not prepared at all for that. And she said, are you here for unexpected and oncoming event? And I say, yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank for you. supporting me. She's not done. <laughs> Sorry. And the other thing is that yesterday I talked with my friends, and I say, oh my God, I'm, I'm not going to do that. It's so big for me. And one of my friends said, but you, this is on your mind movie to be on the stage. Not this stage, but to be on the stage, to be able to talk. And I say, oh my God. <laughs> that is. <laughs> You so mean, it <laughs> you're in your future now? Yeah, completely. <laughs> and what a great opportunity to practice coherence. My goodness. You're on the challenge activity. <laughs> get poised, get center, centered, and just be in the moment and yeah. see how your body just relaxes into it, just like you did. Yeah. And you said, I don't really, English is not my first language. <laughs> and next thing you know, you're just kind of cruising along. It's all working out for you. You're in the unknown, honey. Stay there. Isn't she beautiful? Thank you.